Welcome to my Big IP LTM training series, my name is Trevor. In 2004, when F5 released version 9, they introduced the creation of the Traffic Management Microkernel, or TMM. The TMM processes all load balanced traffic on the Big IP. It's a part of the data forwarding plane within TMOS, and it runs as a real-time user process. As we've discussed in previous videos, Tickle was introduced in version 9 as well as the scripting language used to compose the logic inside of iRules. One of the key reasons why Tickle was selected over the other languages is it supports the ability to be compiled into bytecode. Before we explore how that reason actually boosts iRule and system performance, there's a few concepts I would like to explain first. The first one being, what is bytecode? Bytecode is also referred to as p-code, or portable code. It is compact numeric codes, and it's the byproduct after it's been compiled, and is not human readable, just like source code is. When an iRule is created, not only is the syntax verified, but the tickle logic is compiled into bytecode, and that's stored in the TMM, or the Traffic Management Microkernel. This all occurs in what's referred to as the load time. Runtime is when the iRule logic is triggered and executed. Runtime needs to be as fast as possible, since potentially tens of thousands of connections could be moving through the platform at any second. Runtime is dramatically more efficient due to the slightly longer load time when the iRule is initially created and compiled into bytecode. Compare this method to the idea of having to individually run a compilation and a syntax check for each connection as it occurs. After doing that, you can easily see how important bytecode influences the system performance. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to see the entire Big IP LTM training series playlist or go to trevortraining.com for more videos.